Do we go down the charity shops today? I've got a ton of bulk listings to make. I've got loads of Lego down there. Scale Electrics track there. Sylvanian families there. I tell you what, in the week I listed a load of Trackmaster Blue Track and it was soul destroying. All of this stuff will wait. It'll all be here when we get back. Let's get down to the charity shops. Yeah. Have a look at this Poly Pocket set here. Notre Dame. Yes, it's 22 quid. But it does have all the figures. It should have three characters there. There they are. And it's got all the gargoyles at the back there. Now, solds, you're looking at about 50 to 60. And the sell through rate looks to be pretty good. So even though it's 22 quid, that could be a quick 20, 25 quid profit there. So we just got out the counter to have a closer look. And he's missing an arm, see? But then, looking at souls, what you can do is sell off these figures individually. Those little gargoyles, eight, nine quid each. I mean, that already would be the money back. Profit in those figures? It's just gonna be too much faff in it. If it was a tenner, I'd get it, but nah, it's gonna be too much faff. All Monopoly down here. I've just sold the last one I have, so I'm looking for another one. 12 quid. No, there's not going to be no markup in that. A couple of old Top Trump sets here. Sold listings are really weird. The last ones of these on bids went for about 14 quid, something like that. But people are selling them and listing them for about four or five quid. I mean, that seems more realistic. This one, there's one sold for a tenner ages ago, but this goes for like two, three quid. Don't know what's going on with them. Gonna leave them. It's an interesting one up here, look. Captain Scarlet, painted by numbers. No solds on eBay, but there's a couple listed for 10 to 15 plus post. They want three quid for it. So it looks like it hasn't been used. All the paints are still sealed. Lots of sheets. Oh no, it has been used. Look at that. Coloured in underneath. Nah. This is the type of thing, right? I think you'll only buy if it is brand new and hasn't been used. So we'll put that one back on the shelf. I'm going to get that book. Peanuts Scanimation. See if it works on a phone. It's not really working on the phone. Oh, there we are. If you just leave it in front of the glass. They're charging two quid for it, one ninety nine. But the last two that sold went for fifteen to twenty. There are a few listed, but it's just interesting, isn't it? I've been doing all right on Disney Store mugs recently. There's another one there. Offer the Aristocats, $1.99. Can't find any solds of this one. But similar ones, eight plus postage. Some of the other Aristocats you can push 15. But I'm gonna leave that one today. There's a Marshall Builder Bear up here. With these Paw Patrol Builder Bears, the more accessories, the better. Fully clothed, you can push 40 quid for this one. He's got his coat, he's got his collar, missing the hat, missing the boots, but at 350, I think that's still worth giving a go. This is quite cool, have a look at this. Mario Kart t-shirt. Size 2XL. Three quid. I love the colour. Prints in decent condition. Good size. We'll be getting that. I'm going to give these couple of books a go. They're by Harvey Pecker. What's this one called? American Splendor. No, I'm not. It's eight quid. I was going to say, if it was like 250, well, usually they're pretty cheap, the books in here. But sold on this? 10 plus post. What's this one? That's eight quid as well. Someone's been looking these up, haven't they? Our movie year. No, there's no markup to sell on. But I'll be looking out for these in the future. This could be a decent little board game here. King of Tokyo. Pound 50. Pre-owned. 
we might be able to push 20 plus postage. It's all upside down, lots of little bits to check. Tons of dice in there. Loads of little beads. For a pound 50, even if it's not complete, we'll still give that a go. Just a bit, what's this? Pokemon Battle Academy. Two quid, sold as seen. Does it have any cards in it? Thing with this box set, people might buy it, take out all the decent cards and just chuck all the bulk back in. Let's have a flick through. Now, there we are, there's the full art cards. Let's see which ones they've got. I'm not convinced they're all here. Now, too many of the big cards are missing, so you should have a Raichu in it and a Charizard there. They weren't in there. But it's only two quid, but we'll put it back. We're not being under it. That's more like it, that's what we like to see. We'll get that one. And this will be random pickup of the day. Shiloh Natural and Safe Musical Mobile. 199, something you hang up above the cot, put batteries in it, things will dangle off the bottom there. I put some batteries in to test it. Last one of these sold in America for about 18 plus postage. 199, we'll give it a go. I imagine it should come with a few extra bits, but you never know, someone might be looking for a spare part. Look at the state of this. We're in the kiddies books. This is a book to look out for. Batman Night Cries. 50 quid. Just mixed in with the kiddies books. Last sold, about 35. People have got this listed for 50. Jeez. 50 quid for that Batman book. And the best thing about it, it was mixed in with all the other ratty 50p comics. Of course I went to the counter and asked, should it be 50p instead of 50 quid? She went to check out the back, no, it was definitely 50 quid. But she said I can have it for 25 quid. Still a bit much for me, really. And that was kind of the story of the charity shops. There was some decent bits up there, but the pricing was just too high for me. And like I said earlier, I've still got a load of bulk stuff that needs listing here. So at the minute I can afford to be a bit picky and also I've got some nice sourcing opportunities coming up. This Saturday at the local school there's a nice tabletop toy sale, I did alright with that last year. Couple of boot sales this Sunday as well. So lots of opportunities to find more stuff to sell. And actually my sales have been okay at the minute so I am keen to keep eBay busy, keep my listed items on the store high so that hopefully that spurs on more sales. Check out some of these bits that I've been selling. Let me take you through some of these weekend sales. Actually before I do, See that little stand there? That is where I usually put you whenever I'm filming the sales. And this is where I keep everything whenever I lift it up and then show you it there. Anyways, right, check this out. Size small, Man United jersey. Paid four quid for this at the boot sale. No cracking, reasonable condition. That's gone for 12 quid, that one. mop -a top Keep an eye out for mop -a top This is the talking version from 1999. Jim Henson on the tag. I always look out for Jim Henson stuff. There is it. Not in the best condition, staining around the eyes there. Even so, he's gone for £18.50. Bog standard pair of canvas, low top converse. Type of thing you'd pay one or two quid for at the boot sale. Took an offer to get these sold. They've gone for 12 quid. I'm still clearing out some of my Funko Pops. These are the fringe ones in the collection. UFC Jose Aldor. That's gone for 15 quid. Actually, that's gone global shipping to Ireland. They've paid about 30 quid all in for that. A bundle of five rescue bots. If you want to sell them on their own, you're looking at about three quid plus postage, something like that. A bundle of five like that, though, will still sell for about 20 quid all in. You're making the same amount of money-ish, and it's selling a lot quicker. Now, ages ago, I bought a load of model kits from someone in Panaf. There were tons of them. I've sold most of them, but I've still got the tail end few to go. These typically are the ones that have been opened. It's all sealed inside, but the box isn't pristine but I've priced them as if they are brand new, because inside they are. That has gone for 30 quid, that one. And finally then, I've got this pair of leather barber boots. I took a chance on these, right? And this is why, look. See them scratches on the side there? Those ones on the bottom, they're not too deep, but that one there, that is. It's not gone all the way through. So obviously that's hampered the price. They've taken ages to sell, but still worth it though. They've gone for 25 quid. Does anybody actually like packing? I've got nine orders here for Monday and Tuesday. Let me take you through them. Firstly, 
for ages one to two, we've got a Zogs Batman swim vest. Pick that up at the boot sale. That's gone for £18.50 plus postage. This was a nice little find. A Lego base plate. That's all it is. Little island in there. That one went for £12.50. And to post that, straight in the pizza box. Oh, shout out Richard from the boot sale. Sorted me out with this pair of Adidas Galetto boots. Never been worn, brand new. Sold me them for three quid. He knew it was too cheap. So Richard, thanks ever so much for that. Those are gone for £17 plus postage. Nice pair of boots. Nice little bundle of track mastery. Yeah? Five trains, but they're all in shocking condition. James is missing the top off the tender. Thomas is missing the rubber on his wheels. They all work, but they've all been really well used. Still, bundle them together. £18.50 plus postage in that box. Oh, and I actually saw my favourite Trackmaster train. I don't have a favourite Trackmaster train. I don't. But if I did, it would be Duck. Keep an eye out for Duck. I bundled them in with three little wagons. 25 quid that little bundle's gone for. Godzilla mask. Paid 50p for this one. Turn it on. Lights up. If I had batteries in. That one went for £12.50 plus post. Guardians of the Galaxy PS4. Picked this up for a pound because it was mixed in with all the DVDs. Now this is available on PlayStation Online. So if I want to play it, I'll just play it on that. Sold the disc version, 11 quid. Got a little Monster Jam monster truck here. This one's called the Captain's Curse. Nine pound for that one. And then the final one to show you, I picked this one up at the boot sale a couple of weeks ago. This is Classic Jetfire. Paid two pounds. It's incomplete, but people buy this one for parts. That one's gone for £10.50 plus postage. And of course, as soon as you put all your packaging material away, another sale comes in, doesn't it? But I'm pleased with this one because I took a punt. Now these Tonka tin plate vehicles do really well over in America, but not many of them sell in the UK. But this green one did. It's a van, missing the back door, crack on the window there, but comes with this little trailer. Look at this there. Folds out and it's like a little mini camping set. Bed on top. Little table in there, got a free Popeye sticker on there too. Can't remember what I paid for these. But I bought that car transporter with it as well and another little vehicle. This one has gone for £18.50 plus postage, so that is definitely all my money back, probably into profit. Just want that one to shift now. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, shout out one, two, three, Treadstone, first comment to last video. Next video will be up on Sunday where I'll cover everything I've picked up over the weekend and we'll go through all the sales in between.